This is very exciting, guys, and you might not have heard of these. A mask. And I'm sure that sounds very like, okay, great, yeah, face mask. What, you couldn't think of a tenth essential? This is so essential right now. This is the most essential, aside from nurses and carers and delivery people and all the people that are working on the front lines, but this is what we can do. What's up, GQ? I'm Ruby Rose, and these are my essentials. This is one of my essentials because it's, it's a, I don't know what it's called. I'm a big fan, clearly. Remarkable. And as you can see, well, I don't know how much you can see actually, but it's pretty dented and pretty bruised and it's traveled with me for a long time, but this is what I read my scripts on. So I prefer to be paperless, the environment, so forth. But also I can't just use my laptop or just use an iPad because a, the color, and, and my eyes get really tired after a while, and B, there's your emails pop up, your text messages pop up, all these things, and you get distracted, and then you're not reading the script. But you can write on scripts, so if I receive a script, I download it to here, I can write my notes on the side of it, and then send it back to a director or a producer or, you know, whatever. What is this, you might ask? It's a yoga mat, yes. For many years, my New Year's resolution was to do yoga. And for many years, I did not do yoga. One of the good things that have come out of this tragic and sad time is that I finally did yoga. And, and a lot of other things to do with self-care and, and exercise. But I brought this mat in because A, I'm quite proud that I do yoga and Pilates now and stretching. And also it's uh, Jaren Street, so it's an Australian brand that sent me this. In Australia, there's a lot of people that steal Aboriginal designs, their art, their culture, and, and they use a lot of their artwork without permission. So this is Aboriginal art done by Aboriginal people and they support other Indigenous brands as well. So for me, I was like, this is really cool. It's super comfortable. It looks awesome. No, oh, it's like samurai sorted in here. What's happening? And it's also essential because when I stop doing yoga or Pilates, my dogs decide that this is what they're gonna nap on for the whole day. Look at this, I could just get on the table right now and do Pilates which I would have never done for the last 30 years of my life. So yeah, it's my essential because it was one of those things that during this time, we're finding things to do, we're trying to work out how to stay busy, mental health, physical health, good food, and yoga and Pilates and stretching and things like that is a really good way to meditate. Actually, I meditate on this as well. So they're all the good things. Essentials, boxing gloves. Also, this doubles because it's also tie-dye, and one of the things I got really into during quarantine was tie-dyeing everything. So when that's no longer cool, I'm in trouble because I've tie-dyed everything. I started boxing again recently, so for the first part of quarantine, I gave myself this thing where I'm like, I've been exercising and training really hard for 15 years. I deserve to do nothing and eat whatever I like. And I did that. Uh, I still don't fit into any of my jeans, and I'm okay with that. But the one thing I started up again recently was boxing and I actually competed. I was an amateur boxer for a couple of years and I competed and won. I'm undefeated because it was only two fights and my mum made me stop. But it is one of those things where I like to do the exercises that are good for the soul and the spirit, you know, Pilates, yoga, meditation, all of those sorts of things. But I also need to be like cardio, like I need to get energy out. And I think it's important to, when you get frustrated, to have an avenue. And boxing is a really good one for that. So when I'm kind of feeling a bit foggy and I'm not feeling like I have a purpose or direction or you know that I can't do something, boxing is a great way to just go and get all that out and get exercise at the same time. Three times a week. And then I just did a film with Morgan Freeman and, and I didn't work out uh, for three weeks. And then I went boxing again and it's, I lost all of that in three weeks. I'm so mad. But yeah, I go three times a week and I would go more, but I go to this place called Gloveworks and it's no joke. They're really tough. This is a drink that I love. I'm also an investor in it, so, you know, just, just keeping it real. But I basically harassed these guys because I was spending so much money on this drink, getting one every day and trying all the flavors that for a year I was hassling them to be like, come on, like, can I invest in the company? Can we work together? I'm obsessed. What Rebel do is they keep everything so it can be sustainable and they just go to the source so you get the best ingredients. This one is cold brew uh, coffee, reishi. So a lot of these have Chinese medicine, herbs, mushrooms, roots, ashwagandha, chaga. They're all really good for you. And coffee can make me feel like a bit anxious if I have too much, whereas mushroom coffee never does. Can't live without it, love it, try it someday. I don't know. I'm not trying to do an ad, I just literally can't live without it. This is trough. This has changed my life. And mind you, I've been practicing to be less attached to things. I'm really attached to this. It's a truffle hot sauce, which to me, when I heard about it, sounded like the worst idea that anyone could come up with. 
Who wants a truffle hot sauce? Like truffle on its own is, is the flavor, right? I was wrong. Why was I wrong? I add this to everything, literally everything. Savory, sweet. There's another one that's like white truffle. This one's black truffle. I give it to all my friends for their birthday. And then people are like, really? Th happy birthday, you got me hot sauce. Just, just you wait. I go through a bottle this size every three weeks, maybe every two weeks. I can't think I'm so obsessed with hot sauce. This is weird and that it's one of my essentials. Anyway, sorry about that. We're not really strangers. This game is unbelievable. It's such a fast track way to get to know someone that you don't know. You get to find out really interesting things about the other person in a way that feels so organic. Whereas if you're just talking to someone at dinner or you're on a date or you're hanging out for the first time with a, a new friend, you can't just ask them these questions. Like, what did you really think about me when you first met me? When you play the game, it puts it in a context that isn't weird. And I've not only like become really close to people because of this game, I've also become closer to like my best friends, things that I didn't know about them or they didn't know about me. I love anything that allows people to feel more comfortable connecting. We, we misunderstand people and, and games like this, not only is it super fun, but you do, you get a better understanding of people and, and I love connecting and I have realized even more so during quarantine, I do need human connection. I do need my friends. I do need to check in on my family more. And now that I've done that, that's one part of quarantine that I won't stop when we go to the new normal, whatever's gonna happen there. Better if you get people drunk too, because they, they get more honest. But you don't get drunk, and then you get to remember it all. This, oh, it's on, I'm gonna take it off because it's on a rude finger. I was literally about to put my finger up. This is an aura ring, and it's a sleep ring. A friend of mine convinced me to get this. I thought she was nuts, I didn't really get the idea. It's amazing, so it records everything to do with your sleep pattern, when you go to sleep, how long you sleep for, the quality of your sleep, all the things. I know I'm talking about sleep a lot, but that's a really important part of our health. I had totally ditched sleep for the last 10 years because, you know, schedules and traveling. Sleep has always been a little difficult for me, and I know that when I monitor it, and I really recognize what's happening, like, hey, I went to bed at this time, and I only got this much good sleep, was it really worth it to watch Grey's Anatomy for the 20th time to lose this amount of sleep? So this thing, I, I just, I'm obsessed with it. And I think that if anyone has sleep problems or wants to know more about their sleep, then this is a great thing to get. Crystals, yes, I'm one, it's so LA, isn't it? But I swear I did this when I was in Australia, so it's okay. Crystals and, and healing properties and having them around, again, they're just something that I, I love in my house. Saging, Palo Santo. I'm very much into holistic medicine and all kinds of alternative therapies and ways to feel good, self-care, baths. If I could bring a bath here, I would. That's also another essential. But I do have a huge collection of crystals. I love them very much and I like to get them from different parts of the world as well when I travel. So they not only remind me of places I've been and those experiences, but they also look and feel beautiful to have in the house. I keep crystals everywhere, by the bed, by the spare bed, in my lounge room and my kitchen, because that's where I spend most of my time. I have a giant amethyst that I have at the front door. They sit at certain places where they recommend that you put them and then there's places where you just feel like I want to put this here and so I'm going to. Sage is super important to me too. It's just one of those things where I've traveled, if I've had a bad day, if someone's had a bad day and they've come to my house and they're going through a breakup and they've got this energy when they leave I'm like I love you come back soon and I'm like get all that energy out of here because it's good to get the energy out of you and it's great to turn to a friend but you don't want to be stuck there kind of still thinking about she should have dumped him earlier. I knew she, I should have told her to dump him earlier. So if you sage, you end up having less regrets about those kinds of things. It also smells amazing. This is very exciting, guys. And you might not have heard of these. A mask. And I'm sure that sounds very like, okay, great, yeah, face mask. What, you couldn't think of a 10th essential? This is so essential right now. This is the most essential. Aside from nurses and carers and delivery people and all the people that are working on the front lines, but this, is what we can do. This particular one, the Pure Mask, is my favorite. Let me let me just read it, because I don't actually know exactly. Uh, it's thin and light. Could have told you that, I am holding it. It's a nanofiber filter. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it sounds like nanofiber, it sounds pretty cool. But it is, it has like three layers, so nothing comes in, nothing really comes out. But it sits a little bit further away from your face. Like a lot of the other masks are like really kind of on there, and when you're talking, it's like, this is happening and you're sweating and this sort of sits a little in front of your face so you're not sweating and you can talk and hear because there's nothing worse than when someone's talking and you go, I, so I can't understand you and they're like, hold on a second. I'm like, no, not that. <laughs> Rather not hear you then. Yeah, I recommend these. These are my favorite. 
Thanks for checking out my essentials. I hope that some of them were interesting and uh, maybe you'll try Truff or Revel or enjoy just having this conversation. Good luck. Be care, be care, wow. All right, this is going really well. Don't you agree? I think we've really connected. Um, next time maybe we'll just play We're Not Really Strangers.